this experiment, we're going to be using burette in order to test for protein. You're only going to need three of your test tubes, but you can still leave the fourth one in your test tube rack. If you go to your lab procedure sheet, you should be looking for exercise two. It says to wash your test tubes and, if necessary, label them again. To test tube number one, you want to add a dropper full of egg albumin, also known as egg whites. That will be found in one of these cups. And again, I'm not going to put these in there because I don't want to waste some of our material. To, dropper, or to test tube number two, you're going to add a dropper full of gelatin. That can be found here. And then to test tube number three, again, you're going to add water, which will act as our control. Test water is found here. Test tube number four obviously is not going to be used. Then to each of these test tubes, you're going to add five drops of burette. Now, you need to be extremely careful with this uh, because it's a very dangerous solution that we have here. So you don't want to leave this lid open, and you certainly don't want to be messing around with this. Once you've added that to your test tubes, the test results are a little tricky to read on this one. It says, burette will cause the substance to gel up and become almost a solid in the presence of protein. It will also turn a blue-violet color in some cases. So when you swirl it around, you're going to be looking for a change and looking to see if it kind of forms a gel in the bottom of your test tube. If it does, then you have a positive for protein. <clears throat> now, when you clean your test tubes, it may be necessary to use one of these stirring rods in order to get the uh, gel substance out of the bottom, so you just will want to stir it around at the bottom, and then again you want to use one of our major sinks here to rinse these out. Once you are done, you want to record your results on your lab report sheet and make sure you clean your test tubes.